Hello guys, how are you doing today? Can you hear me clearly? Or is there any type of interference in the background or something? Are we clear? Can you listen to me clear? Yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you very much. So, uh, as usual, guys, we are going to start by asking questions regarding to the last topic. So yesterday, we saw a lot of things, actually. We saw the zero article. We saw the article which were A and, and also some in any. So let me ask you a question. Uh, how do I use A? How do I use A? Cuando este existe una una un, la siguiente palabra es una inicia con una consonante. It start with a with a consonant, okay? Y what about if I have uh, what about the word university? What happened with that? University. What happened? Recuerdo que era la pronunciación este, como que se omitía la, era por el sonido you. There you go. That's the exception that we have. That's an exception. Very good. Now, how do we use the word any? In the negative sentence and the question sentence. And the questions and the negative sentences. Do I have any type of exception when it comes to any? Is there any exception that I should know? Yes. What's the exception about? Mm. What does the exception says? El contexto creo que era este al inicio el el verbo utilizado al inicio si ya era como una una negación una negatividad. Mm -hmm. The negative sense, el sentido negativo. Okay, very good. What about some? How do I use some? Guys, what about the other ones? Solo Carla y José Alberto estuvieron en la clase ayer. So what about the other ones? I do not listen to you. How do we use some? Or how am I supposed to use uh, some in that case? The sound, the possible. Las positive sentences, you mean? Okay. What about, let me see, let me try to, let me try to, to give you an example here. Now, you know what? We're going to go to this part and we're going to all work together on that. So let's see. We have this exercise here and I need, uh, let me see. I will ask random people. Let me see. We, we all together, we're going to try to verify which are the possible answer to this. If I have, hi John, I have a big room too. It's blue. Blue, it's my favorite color. There is, there is what? Ah. There is a big baby in my room. And? M. And, are you sure? A. A. Let me write it. Vamos a escribir su respuesta. So here we said, 
A. Some. Some. ¿Por qué algunas? Some. Some pillows on it. Now, there is a, a desk. But there isn't But any, there, any. I can use either an or I can use any. Both of them. There is also an, an armchair. Okay. And So. Um, some curtains in front of the window. There aren't. Any? Any? There aren't any paintings on the wall, but there are. On the wall, okay. There are some posters. There are. I'm sorry, what? But there are what? Yes. Some. There are some toys in the box. But there isn't any. We can have both. We can have A or any. Both any. correct. Any. Now, let me see. Ya la tenemos contestada. All, it's all complete there. So let me see. Uh, Denise, help me reading hasta el primer punto. Till the first period. Hasta acá. Read it. Where? From here till here. Hasta room. No, until here. Uh -huh. I mean that it's, I have, it's more than I one. Have, uh -huh. I have a big I have a big room. No. Hi John. I have a big room. So it, it is blue. Blue is my favorite color. There is a big bed in my room and some pillow. Pillows. Pillows on it. Now, Sulma. From here until here, Sulma. There is a out book there in and um. and book because because I don't, I don't know what we three. can you guys please turn your microphones off <laughs> I don't know who has the microphone oh. podemos escuchar a toda la fiesta ¿Verdad? Hello. Hello. Escuchamos toda la fiesta. Oh my God, that was. That was... Can you please? Hello. Oh my God. She cannot listen to us. Julia, can you listen to us? Let me try. See your... I think she cannot listen to us. Hey. 
Hello, Julia. Hello, hello. Oh my God. Can, can someone text on the on the WhatsApp group probably? Because I don't have my phone here. Can you text her that, that she needs to, to turn her microphone off? Oh my God. <laughs> Sin querer, nos estamos dando cuenta de todo, ¿verdad? No le da la opción de darle mute a usted, dicho. Um, I was trying to mute her, but let me see. Let me see. No, I cannot mute her. Mute. No, I, I cannot. <laughs> yes, because we cannot continue. I mean, we're listening to everything she's saying. No, I cannot mute her. No la puedo. Eh. Okay. Eh, ¿Alguien puede decirle de en el grupo de WhatsApp? No, I mean, it's not, it's not possible. I mean, she will still be there. Julia, can you listen to us? I mean, now it's quiet. Okay, well, I don't know. No sé si solo yo dejé de escuchar, pero ya no escucho nada, so I don't know. Ya no se escucha. Okay. Well, okay, so we're going to, to continue where we were. So, okay, um... Sulma, it was your turn, right? Yes. Let's go. Okay. There is a dex, but there is not an, any bookcase in my room. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Sophia. Sophia, from here till here. Okay. There is also on our man chair. And some curtain, curtains in front of the window. Jose Alberto, from here till here. There aren't any painting on the wall, but there are some poster. Okay, thank you, Rina Margarita. From here till here. There are some toy, toys in a box but there is not any carpet on the floor. Thank you very much. Now, the last part is going to be for Monica, Monica Lue. This part, this part, and this part. What your favorite rooms? Write some, Jack. Okay, now, uh, Okay, let me see. Um, can someone or does anyone have any question regarding to any vocabulary here? Alguna palabra que no hayan entendido? Or that you don't understand or is everything clear? Clear. Clear, perfect. Yes. Okay, now we're going to move on to today's class. That was just a practice about yesterday's class. So today, guys, as I told you yesterday, we are going to see countable and non-countable nouns. That is going to be today's class. So just let me share the screen with you. Let me see. Okay. Okay, here we have it. Well, guys, today is our, actually, it's our, let's say, our 15th class, nuestra clase numero 15. So tomorrow, remember, tomorrow is our last class. Día de mañana es nuestra última clase y el examen, ¿verdad? Exam. So I hope everyone is clear y que todos hayan estudiado este punto.
As you can see here, guys, today we're going to focus on countable and non-countable nouns. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of information here, but of course, we are going to try to cover all that information. And remember, if you have any question or if there's something that you do not understand or if there's any pronunciation that you want me to tell you, feel free to ask. Sin miedo a preguntar, ¿verdad? So let's go. Let's let's start with today's class. Just let me get the pointer here. And here we have. Oh, here it is. So in English, it says that we have two type of nouns. We have countable and uncountable nouns. But it's also important to know that some words can be countable and uncountable. I mean, what does it mean? It means that some words can be used in those cases, in both cases, in ambos casos. So we have those, we have some examples right here. We have iron, we have cake, we have chicken, and we have time. It means that those words or these words that we have here, they can be used either as countable or uncountable. They can have both. So we're going to go first with a brief explanation or a brief definition about what a countable noun is. So I will need two volunteers. Sophia and Iris. Sophia, help me reading from here until here. And then, Iris, you will help me reading from here until here, okay? Thank you. Okay. Countable noun. A word which can be counted. Mm -hmm. They have a singular form and plural form. They usually refer to things. To things. Thank you very much. Iris. Must. Countable nouns become plural by adding an is at the end of the word. Okay, what does it mean? It says that, of course, or obviously, obviamente, countable nouns are things that we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, and so on, and so on. So we call them Countable nouns because they can be counted. Simple as that. When we want to make the countable noun plural, what we do is that we only add a letter S at the end of the word. So if I want to make plural of the noun chair, si yo quiero hacer plural esta palabra, ¿Qué es lo que hago? What do I do? Sim. Solo agregar la letra S. Thank you, Saul. So we say chairs. Simple as that. Very easy. Now, let's go with the part of the uncountable nouns. So, Saul. Thank you, Saul. And also, let me see. Zulma. So, Saul, you are going to help me from here until here. And Sulma from here until here. So let's go. Uncountable nouns are what we cannot be counted. Mm -hmm. Before, they only have a singular form. They have no plural form. Thank you very much. Sulma. Okay. These words are thought. 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 No, of, thought. Thought, mm -hmm. thought of us, walls, rail, mm -hmm. then as uh, parts. They usually refer to attraction, attraction, mm -hmm. and such as confidence or ad, advice, mm -hmm. or collectives, such as equipment or no sé, lugar, no sé cómo 
Okay. Eh, okay. Um, so, cuando yo les pido a ustedes que lo pronuncien, el, la forma en que lo pronuncien de la forma en que ustedes piensen. So, lo que voy a hacer ahora, yo lo voy a leer para que ustedes escuchen la pronunciación. Okay. It says, are words which cannot be counted. Therefore, they only have a singular form. They have no plural forms. These words are thought as wholes rather than as parts. They usually refer to abstractions such as confidence or advice or collectives such as equipment or luggage. Now, question for you. Alguna palabra que no entendamos from this part? Luggage. Luggage. Luggage son las maletas. Luggage or baggage son los mismos, son sinónimos. Equipaje o maletas, como nosotros les llamamos. So then everything is clear. Todo lo demás, we're clear. Therefore. Therefore, therefore por, por lo tanto. Y una que creo que ya la hemos utilizado, pero o se me escapa de such as. Ya such as, tales, tales como. Tales como, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. So, we have here, lo que dice aquí es that usualmente los uncountable nouns Of course, are things that we cannot count. Cosas que no podemos contar. Otra característica, another characteristic very important, is that they have no plural form. They don't have plural form. So that's, though, that's another characteristic. They usually, or they, some of the examples are, can be abstractions. Por eso dice aquí, algunos pueden ser abstractos. Si yo digo confidence, confianza, ¿puedo medir yo la confianza de alguien? Can I measure that? No, right? So I don't know. So confidence, it's an abstraction, es algo abstracto. Entonces esas abstractas abstracciones son tomadas como uncountable nouns too. Ok. So if there's a question with that, we're going to go to this part. So let me see Carla. Carla, let me listen to you and help me reading from here until here, Carla. Countable and uncountable nouns. Nouns in English can be countable or uncountable. Countable nouns are things we can count. A dog, five pencils mm -hmm. can be singular or plural. My best friend is a very intelligent girl, singular. My two other friends are good at sport, plural. Okay, thank you very much. Basically, what it says there is that, of course, well, countable nouns, things that we can count. And as we can see here, el noun friend, como dice, como decía la regla anterior, que es lo que hago para hacerlo plural, add the letter S. So even though I'm talking about the same thing, aunque esté hablando de la misma cosa, para hacerlo plural en los countable, solo agrego the letter S. That's it. Of course, there's some other things. Hay otras cosas que le llamamos quantifiers son las cuantificadores that we can use in the countable and uncountable nouns. And here we have some. It says that it can be used with a, an, a girl, the, the girl, numerals, like two tables, some, any, uh, two, too many, how many, a lot of, a few. So let me see, Marce. Marce, can you help me reading the yes and no questions? Yes. Yes, no question. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, below. Are there any seats? How many seats are there? Are there any seats? How many seats are there? Okay. Now, affirmative part. Uh, let me see. Who else? Vanessa Gabriela. Vanessa, help me reading the affirmative part. There are some signs. Seats? Seats. There are a few seats. A few there seats. Are, there are a lot of seats. There are too many seats. Okay, thank you very much. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que significa esto? Que estos que vemos in, in bold, en negrita, are quantifiers, son cuantificadores, ¿sí? Si yo digo, there are some seats, what do we understand? ¿Qué entendemos por eso? ¿Aló? ¿Qué significa seats? Algunos sí. asientos. Asientos. Hay, porque ya vimos, there is and there are. There are, hay, algunos asientos. Now, if I say there are a few seats. Entonces quiere decir que, al, que some y a few es lo mismo. No, it's not. So there are a few seats, unos pocos. There are a few seats, unos pocos. If I say there are a lot of seats. Hay suficientes o muchos asientos. Hay muchos asientos. What if I say there are too many seats? Algunos asientos. Muchos. Demasiados yeah. asientos. Ok. So, si se fijan. Cualquiera podría confundirse en, entre ellos porque tienen similitudes. They are similar to each other. So what we have to understand that even though, aunque parecen similares, pero no significan lo mismo. Son algunos. A few, unos pocos. A lot of, muchos. Too many, demasiados. So that's what we have to play with that. Tenemos que aprender a jugar con eso. And I understand that at the beginning, it might be confusing. I understand. That's completely understandable. At the beginning, you might confuse some of them and you will probably use some others, which are not going to make sense. But once you are using them, using them and using them, it's going to be easier for you to do so. Okay, Saul, help me with the negative, please. Negative. Are no, they aren't any seat. They aren't any seat. They are not seats. Okay. There aren't any seats. What do we understand by that? No hay ningún asiento. No hay ningún asiento. There aren't many seats. No hay muchos asientos. No hay muchos asientos. There are no seats. No hay asientos. Excellent. So it's, it's very nice that I see that you are understanding. That's perfect. So let me see. Can I have a volunteer for this part for the uncountable nouns? Sin miedo al éxito, ¿verdad? Y es la última clase y no quiere participar. Zulma, thank you very much. Zulma, ok. Uh, is... Artín, we can come. Oh, uh, Zulma, there's like like interference there, like something there. I don't know what's going on. Though. 
tengo problemas con el... Ay. No, if you want, it's fine. So we're going to go with, uh, with Saúl that I see. I saw he raised his hand. Vi que levantó su mano. So, Saúl. Thank you, Saúl. Uncountable nouns are these we cannot count rather like friendship. Are only singular. Chocolate makes you happy. Okay. So, of course, it says once again, things that we cannot count, such as water, light, and friendship. El agua no la puedo contar, la luz tampoco y la amistad tampoco. So, one important thing, una cosa muy importante, solo tienen forma singular. Okay? Only singular form. So, we have chocolate. Por favor, no es chocolate, es chocolate. Chocolate makes you happy. Chocolate makes you happy. So, um, here, as you can see, we, even though we, uh, I mean, there's, as I told you at the beginning, como les dije al inicio, hay algunos de ellos que pueden ser contables e incontables. En este caso, chocolate, chocolate puede ser algunas veces eh, contable. ¿Cómo sería contable? En este caso, si yo me refiero a algo en particular, por ejemplo, uh, if I say... Una taza de chocolate. Uh, a cup of chocolate. Yeah, a cup of chocolate. That can be countable. Puede ser contable. ¿Sí? So that's perfect. Thank you so much for that, Sofía. So, en esos casos, puede ser... Saúl, yes. Pero en este caso, entiendo yo que se contaría como taza de chocolate, no como chocolate. Es como... Excelente. O sea que hoy sí estamos prestando atención, Saúl. Ok. That's. Motivo, motivo. Ok. Ok, that's perfect. Yes, he has a point. Él tiene un punto ahí. Sí. So let's, let's try to understand. Vamos a tratar de entender en qué punto llegaría a ser contable y en qué punto incontable. As Saúl said, como él dijo, if I say a cup of chocolate. Si yo lo utilizo como a cup of chocolate, in that case, when I say a cup, ¿cuál es el noun en esa, en esa situación? A cup of chocolate. Cup. Cup. So even though, aunque yo me estoy refiriendo a chocolate, a cup of chocolate, en ese caso el que estoy utilizando como inicial de un sustantivo es cup, no chocolate. So... ¿Cómo convierto chocolate a un sustantivo? If I say uh, chocolates from, no, let me see, let me, let me try to get a brand. ¿Alguna marca de chocolate? Like Hershey. Hershey. Hershey, Hershey. yeah, <laughs> Hershey, okay. So if I say Hershey chocolates are delicious. So you can see that Hershey chocolates. So automáticamente lo estoy haciendo plural. ¿Y cuáles son los únicos que pueden tener plural? Plural y singular al mismo tiempo. The countable. Countables. En ese caso, entonces quiere decir que cuando yo digo Hershey chocolates are delicious, en ese caso el chocolate ya se convirtió en un contable y ya no está actuando como uncountable. ¿Sí? So that's the difference. Esa es la diferencia que tenemos. Existen que otros más como los que vimos al inicio como chicken, we saw, uh, I don't remember, iron. There's some others. Hay algunos que son al máximo como 10. Eh, that's the maximum que pueden ser utilizados en ambos casos. Generalmente cada uno, or generally each one is separated. Todos están separados en su categoría. But únicamente those, those are the only ones that we can use in the middle, like between countable and uncountable. It's going to depend on the situation. Okay? So Marce, can you help me reading the just you no know question? Yes. No question. If there are any meals, how 
much, Mil. Is there? Thank you very much. Affirmative, Carla. Uh, there is some milk. There is a little milk. There is a lot of milk. There is too much, too much milk. Thank you. Now, si se fijan también en este caso, we are using quantifiers. We are using quantifiers here. Y los únicos que nunca cambian van a ser some and a lot of. Then, a few que utilizamos acá es suplantado por a little. And too many that we were using in the countable is suplantado por too much. So if I say there is some milk, what do we understand by that? Alguna leche. Alguna leche. Algo de leche. O algo de leche. Yes. There is a little milk. What's that? Poca leche. Poca leche. Poco de leche. There's a lot of milk. Mucha. Mucha. And there's too, too much. There is too much milk. Demasiada. Demasiada. That's pretty much, uh, I mean, the usage, el uso es similar as the previous one. So we just have to understand that there's some differences, small differences, when we use countable and uncountables. Denise, can you help me with the negatives, please? The negative, there isn't mm -hmm. uh, any milk, there isn't much milk, there is not milk. Okay, thank you very much. Is there any questions so far? Alguna pregunta at the moment? Yo, uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. in, in a yes or no question, in caso, is there any milk? La respuesta sería yes. Uh, there any, or oh, yes, it any milk. Mm, no. Or oh, yes. Lo, yes. Lo que vimos any. ayer, no, no, no. Porque si yo digo yes, eso es positivo. ¿Y cuál es uso mm. para lo positivo? Son. Son. Entonces, aunque yo tenga any en la pregunta, si yo digo, mm -hmm. there any milk, aquí está la afirmativa, ¿ve? There mm -hmm. okay. is some milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Okay. Now, here we have another part. Aquí tenemos uh, some other examples. Here we have some other examples. So, everyone is going to participate. Todos van a participar. So we're going to start by Jose Alberto. Tell me with A and the examples. Okay. Hey, a, a doctor, a pen, a mill, a class, a college. A college. Denise, many. Many groups, many books. Many libraries, many flights. Okay, many cups, many books, many libraries, many flights. Thank you very much, Carla. Few. Few questions, few tables, few apples, few holidays, few countries. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Rina Margarita. A few. A few. A few questions, a few problems. A few issues. Issues. A few issues. Okay, a few issues. Now, questions, preguntas hasta el momento. Issues. A few, a few issues. Issues. Cuando decimos a few issues es un eh, sinónimo de problems. Utilizado cuando decimos issues es situaciones complicadas de acuerdo a la tecnología, problemas tecnológicos, ok, issues, es como que tú digas problemas. Now, if there's no more questions, Saúl, thank you very much, Saúl, much. Much money, much time, much food, much water, 
much energy. Energy, okay. Julia, yes, Julia. Little, little tall, little equipment, little meat, little Okay, we have little travel, little equipment, little meat, little patient. It is. A little bit of confidence, a little bit of sleep, Mm -hmm. A little bit of snow. Of snow, okay. Questions, preguntas. A little bit of. A little bit of, that means un poquito. When usted dice, um, do you want some coffee? Quieres un poquito? A little bit of, okay. Un poquito, a little bit of, okay. That's pretty much it. Any other question? Okay, so let's move on then. Let me see uh, Jose Alberto once again. Help me Jose Alberto with the part of uh, the. The count of it. Mm -hmm. The monkeys, the school, the t-shirt, the books, the bananas. Okay, now with the uncountables. Uncountables, the cheese, the ma machinery. Machinery. Machinery, the le letters. Luggage. Luggage, the grass, the, the or da, or the or da. Uh, you can say the or the, both are correct. The knowledge. Knowledge. Thank you very much. Sophia. Mm, some uh, countable, some tables, some stores, some grapes, some cities, some nurses. Okay. Uncountable, sometimes, some news, some bread, some salt, and some mild. Mel, okay, thank you very much. Now, questions so far. Pregunta hasta el momento. Okay, let's move on then. Carla, any? Any, any countable, any forks, any socks, any bathrooms, any waters. Waiters. Waiter. Oh, no, we like, sorry. <laughs> Any beliefs? Beliefs, okay. Beliefs. What is beliefs? Beliefs, creencias. Vanessa, mm -hmm. Ella? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you're still, uh, no, Carla, you still with the uncountables. Let's go, Carla. Uncountables, any advice, any soap? Any transportation, any goal, any homework. Thank you very much. Vanessa Gabriela, let's go with no. No comfortable. No magazine, no chocolate. Chocolate. No chocolate, no pilots, no rings, no markers. Okay. No incomfortable. No trouble. Travel. Travel. No grass. No scenery. Scenery. No scenery. No money. No for for them. Furniture. Furniture. Okay. Uh, let me see, Saul. A lot of comfortable. A lot of animals. A lot of toys. A lot of immigrants. A lot of babies. Okay. A lot of uncomfortable. A lot of help. A lot of aggravation. Aggravation. A aggravation. Lot of happiness, a lot of fun. Okay. Now let's see Rina Margarita. Lots of. Lots of comfortable. Lots of comfort. Lots of 
visit lots of parties, lots of college. Okay, lots of computers, lots of buses, lots of parties, lots of college. Now, questions so far? Uh, bus and, and plural. Uh, ya no se dice como la A, como bus. Buses. It's, it's, it's still buses. Yeah, we, we, we still make the sound. El sonido no, no cambia. Es el mismo. Lo único que hacemos es la pluralización al final. It doesn't change. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Um, yo, teacher. Mm -hmm. No. No sé qué significa no trouble. No trouble. Cuando tenemos no trouble, no problem, and no issue, los tres significan problema. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los tres? Problem, yo lo voy a utilizar para problemas de forma general. Issue, lo voy a utilizar generalmente para algún problema técnico o alguna situación que yo no soy capaz de poder resolver por mí mismo. Trouble, trouble lo voy a utilizar para aquellas situaciones intangibles. ¿Qué quiere decir? Cosas o problemas de los cuales yo no los puedo tocar. Cosas que pasan como que envuelven sentimiento. Those are the three differences. So, any, any other question? I guess that's a no. So, here we have, aquí tenemos vocabulary. Vocabulario. Oh, Sulma, I'm sorry that I didn't see your, okay. The difference between lot of, we have lots of and a lot of. When I say a lot of, esto yo estoy diciendo muchos. When yo digo lots of, demasiados. Okay, that's the difference. Now, let's move on to the, to the vocabulary part. Aquí ten, tenemos vocabulary. Thanks, okay. Now, uh, in this case, what, what I'm going to do, lo que voy a hacer es solo lo voy a um, make the pronunciation and you can make the pronunciation by yourself at home. Ustedes lo pueden pronunciar en su casa eh, because of the time and probably I will ask someone randomly. Probablemente después le pregunte a alguien de forma aleatoria. So, we have the first one, homework, equipment, Luggage, clothing, furniture, machinery, gold, silver, cotton, glass, jewelry, perfume, soap, paper, wood, petrol, gasoline, baggage, hair, and traffic. Let me see, uh, Rina Margarita, how do we pronounce this? Gold. Gold. Saul, how do we pronounce this? Jewelry. Jewelry, thank you very much. Uh, Jose Alberto, how do we pronounce this? Gage. Baggage. Uh, Baggage. Sophia, how do we pronounce this? Mm, Marginal. Uh, Carla, how do we say, let me see, this one. Uh, perfume. 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 Okay, now let's go with part number two. Food, floor, meat, rice, cake, bread, ice cream, cheese, toast, pasta, spaghetti, butter, oil, honey, 
soup, fish, fruit, salt, tea, and coffee. It is. How do we pronounce this? Spaghetti. Remember, hacemos solo el sonidito de la S. En esa letra E no, es spaghetti no. Solo es spaghetti, okay? Rina, how do we say this? Meat. Meat, thank you very much. Let me see, Vanessa, how do we say this? Toast. Toast. Marce, how do we say this? Booster. No, butter. Butter. Butter, okay. Denise, how do we say this one? Bread. Bread. Okay, now let's go to part number three. In part number three, we have mat mathematics, economics, psychist, ethics, civics, art, architecture, music, photography, grammar, chemistry, history, commerce, engineering, politics, sociology, psychology, vocabulary, archaeology, poetry. Now, let me see uh, Jocelyn with the, with the J. How do you say this? Economics. Marce, how do we say this? Marce? A. Uh, ethics? Ethics? No, I don't know. Yeah, that's 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 perfect. Ethics. Let me see uh Carla. Architecture. 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 Okay, let me see uh Jose Alberto. Photography. Photography. Let me see Saul. Say it again. Chemistry. Chemistry. Let me see. Uh, uh, let me see who else. Julia. Um, engineering. Engineering. Let me see. Sophia. How do we say this? Psychology. Psychology. Okay. okay, is there any uh, any word, alguna palabra que no hayan entendido? Ethics. Ethics, ética. Po poetry. Poetry, po poesía. Chemistry. Chemistry, química. Yo quiero que me ayude con la, la, la pronunciación de mathematics, creo que es, no sé, pero mejor, ayúdenme, por favor. Yeah, that one we say ma mathematics. It's mathematics. like mathematics. Esa TH ahí es como... como zeta. No es, en ese caso no es Z, sino que se convierte en una, en una Z vibrada que cuando haces el vibrato se, se hace como D. Mathematics. Mathematics. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so if there's no any other question, we're going to go to the last part. Solo un recordatorio, verdad? We use uh, for positives, some, for negatives, any, and for questions, any. That's just a reminder, solo un recordatorio. Now, let's go to the next part, man, it's not helping. Now, let me tell you guys, 
que para when we use uncountables, cuando utilizamos los incontables, la pregunta que vamos a utilizar es how much? How much, as it says there, we use how much with uncountable nouns. For example, how much water do you drink? Para preguntarle a alguien cuánto. ¿Cuánta agua tomas? And we are using how much. Estamos utilizando how much here because water, which is the uncountable noun, it's obviously uncountable. So that's the reason why we are using how much. And when you give your answers, cuando tú das la respuesta, how much water do you drink? I drink, y aquí podemos utilizar los quantifiers, que ya los vimos. I drink a lot of water. I drink quite a lot. I don't drink much water. Uh, I don't drink not much, or I drink not much, or I don't drink any water. So all the things that we already saw, all those things or those small details that we already saw are going to help us to give possible answers to those questions when someone asks you a question like that. So keep in mind, how much is going to be used with uncountable nouns? Now, which one do we use for countables? For countable nouns, we are going to use how many. How many, as it says, is going to be used with plural countable nouns. How many students do you have? ¿Por qué lo voy a utilizar solo con plural? Porque si yo le pregunto a alguien cuántos y solo me estoy refiriendo a uno, evidentemente no tiene sentido. Si yo le digo cuántas pupusa se come, And even in Spanish, doesn't make sense. Incluso en español no tiene sentido. Yo le pregunto, ¿cuántas pupusas? Yeah, how many pupusas do you usually eat? Usualmente se come. So that's the reason why when we use countable nouns and we ask the question, how many? We are going to use how many with plural countable nouns. We have an example right there. How many students do you have? We can say, uh, I have three, I have two, I have 25, I have 15, I have a few, I have some. We can use all those quantifiers that we already saw. Now, Let me ask you, well, is there a question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Is there any question? En el caso que yo quisiera eh, preguntar cuánto tiempo estudias, ya se utiliza este incontable, ¿verdad? Yeah, because time, porque el tiempo yo no lo puedo contar, aunque en español... Nosotros claramente podemos contar una hora, dos horas, tres horas, cuatro horas. Y cualquiera podría decir, pero sí se puede contar. But in English, pero en inglés, el tiempo es eh, tomado como parte de los incontables. So, cuan, si yo quiero preguntar cuánto tiempo estudias, ¿cuál utilizaría? How much time do you study? How much time do you study? ¿Cuánto tiempo estudias? So, let me, les escribí, I wrote a, a, a question in the chat and I need you to give me a possible answer. Necesito que todos me den una posible respuesta a esa pregunta and that's going to be the last part. Y esa va a ser la última parte for today. Can you repeat, please? No, I mean, I just want you to give me a possible answer to the question that we have on the chat. Okay. Sulma, okay, that's good. I have some friends.
What about the others? Carla, I have many friends, okay. Jocelyn, I have four friends, okay. Marce, I have many friends, okay, that's perfect too. Rina, I have many friends, okay. Elizabeth, I have five friends. Denise, I have many friends. Julia Yesenia, I have one friend, okay. Well, so I guess the other ones probably are just typing or they didn't want to participate. Yo tengo, eh, me he quedado en la, en la duda, teacher. La mm -hmm. verdad que este, escuché que la amistad no se podía contar, ¿verdad? Por eso es que mm -hmm. me quedé, por eso no, me no. quedé, ¿verdad? No, pero en este caso no. no son amigos, son amigos, son ¿verdad? Amigos. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces ahí está, puedo colocar, I have 10 friends. I have 10 friends, yeah, whatever, because you can count them, you, tú los puedes contar. Mm -hmm. Ok. Okay, so before we go, guys, let me tell you that according to the rules, de acuerdo a las reglas, tenemos hasta el día de mañana para poder completar la plataforma. Tomorrow is the deadline. Para mañana se nos, se nos acaba el tiempo para la plataforma. Eh, así que se necesita. I really need you to work on that. De lo contrario, tendrán problemas para poder obtener su certificado y para poder pasar al próximo mes. Ok, if is there no any question. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class and see you tomorrow. Be ready for the exam, please. Listo para el exam, ok. So see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, ok. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.